Cartagena is a major city on Colombia's Caribbean coast. Our apartment was right across from the sea in the coastal Marbella district. The building was fortunately always breezy because Cartagena is hot and humid all year round. There were several beaches within easy walking distance, all with shelters and chairs available to rent for a few US dollars per day. The wind and surf were always high on our side of the coast, but the red flag warnings didn't keep families from enjoying the surf and the clear blue skies. The Marbella district has many new high-rise condos and hotels. Our building was a significantly older low-rise, but it was the only place in our budget. Rates in general were much higher in Cartagena than we'd expected. A big reason being the perceived safety due to high crime and 30% poverty in the city. From the information we could find, safe zones were only in the expensive high tourist areas. Some adjacent districts were deemed not safe at night, and most of the city wasn't considered safe for tourists at all, and our building security confirmed that. Our area did have several good and affordable restaurants with different views of the water. The Spanish conquistador Pedro de Heredia founded Cartagena in 1533 in the location of an abandoned indigenous village. The town was named Cartagena de Indias after the Spanish port city of Cartagena, where most of Heredia's sailors hailed from. Most of the area surrounding the settlement was thick mangrove swamps, which are still along the Caribbean coast outside of the cities. The historic center is surrounded by 11 kilometers of defensive walls, the most extensive complete walled city in the Americas. Expanded over two centuries, the walls and the hilltop San Felipe de Barajas castle were needed to protect the city from continual pirate attacks. As the primary port for exporting gold and silver from the Andes Mountains in Colombia and Peru, Cartagena was one of the richest cities and most sought after prizes in the Spanish Empire. Precious metals and other trade goods passed through Cartagena's Plaza de la Aduana, housing both the Customs House and Colonial Government, it's the largest and oldest plaza in the city. The adjacent Plaza de los Coches is a primary spot for hiring horse-drawn carriage rides through the old city. Previously known as Plaza de la Yerba, it was infamously where enslaved people were sold at auction. As in all Colombian cities, Plaza de Bolivar is the heart of Cartagena, with its statue of Simón Bolivar, the father of Colombian independence. But Cartagena was actually the first Colombian city to declare independence from Spain, and they still proudly fly the Cartagena flag, frequently alongside the Colombian national flag. Many Spanish influences remain since independence, like Catholicism. Historic churches still hold regular masses, in Spanish, of course. And bullfights are another Spanish legacy. Events still held in Cartagena, but the original bullfight ring is now attached to a high-end shopping mall and has been beautifully upgraded. We took a walking tour our first day, which was a great way to get oriented to the city and keep the mobs of vendors who pervade the tourist areas mostly away from you. The tour went through a park outside the walled city, and a gardener showed our guide where to spot some of the local wildlife, including a couple sloths. The final part of the tour took us through the bohemian neighborhood of Barrio Getsemane, known for its traditional crafts, beautifully decorated historic buildings, 
and street art. And Hetsemane is the place to be in Cartagena at night. At the very tip of Cartagena, Boca Grande Peninsula is the posh expat and tourist district. The well-maintained beaches all have sheltered coves, which makes for much easier swimming than the rough waters that were near us in Marbella. Cartagena has some of the best sunsets that we've ever seen. Whether it's from the west-facing old city walls, or from the top of San Felipe de Barajas Fort. The ones we saw were nothing short of spectacular. But one of the best ways to see the sunset is to take a cruise from the old city port. I'm sorry.